was the last time, the last time. Life is like a movie. Why? Because life has so many plot twists, symbolism, different scenes that are happy and sad, and the beginning to the end. I am Brain Charles Navarro. Join me and hear me out as I share to you all of my story of my life. I was born on June 7, 2002 in Quezon City, Manila, the Philippines. My family used to live in different places in Luzon, which are in Antipolo Rizal, Marikina City, and finally in Caloacan City, where my family decided to live in this place for good. My family did that because of the needs for their job, for example. Anyways, my parents are Richard, my dad, that many people says that I really do look like him and his habits. He is now in the other world when I was 4 years old because of some accident. Christy, my mom, who supports me financially, mentally, spiritually, and physically. She is currently an OFW in Middle East for over 18 years. With that said, my parents are not always there to be with me. I have my grandmother to my dad's side to take care of me while my mom works hard in the other countries. When I was 7 years old, that was March of 2010, my mom decided to take me to the province in Lopez Arna, Misamis Occidental to continue my studies there and I was turning grade 3 at that time. At first, I was really excited on what is about to come on how province life really is and it was my first time riding an airplane that I literally shouted Darna inside of an airplane. With the same scenario, I was still taken care of by my grandmother but now in my mom, mom's side. That I finally got here in Lopez Aina, it really taught me how to be practical. To work on household chores and the book in life and not just being a señorito which is my behavior when I was in Caloacan City. With that, my family described me as a spoiled kid before. Now that I am with this age now, I, dis I realized that it really proves that being a provinciano has a power to face the real life scenario in this world. So that is how I ended up here in, in Mindanao. On to the next story is about my education and also as a student as a whole. I studied in Silanganan Elementary School, grades 1 and 2. I finished my grade school in Lopezana Central Elementary School. Mindanao State University Lopezana Community High School is where I finished my junior high school. In my senior high school years, I got graduated at Misamis University Arqueta Unit in the strand of general academic strand. Hats off to this school, I must say, because they are so hands-on when it comes to education that it molded my mind as a whole and it trained us students to be the best version of, our, of ourselves that I still kind of adapt here in JRM's main campus. Kind of, because when the pandemic came, it flew away. I have a talent also, which is dancing. I really love to dance, that makes my heart full when I dance. I joined many dance competitions mostly in school that will bring home the bacon at times, that it makes it the part of the competitions. In junior high school, I joined countless times including the provincial dance festival and I choreographed our performances in school three times. In senior high school, I still joined during foundation days and more so. Now in college, I, I recently joined during the Students' Fest representing the College of Arts and Sciences department and we landed in third place. It was all tiring but fun at the same time because of the members of these groups. And the thing that I'm mostly proud of is when I won Best Actor in the 2022 Artist Sanity Season 3 during the University Week. I was really in shock because I did not expect to won an award because there are so many actors that are much better in acting than mine. As we go back to my college, why did I pursue Bachelor of Arts in English Language Studies? Well, first of all, this program is not one of my three choices. My first three choices are third, tourism, second is secondary education, major in English or TLE, and the first choice I had is physical education. If I have these three choices, why did I end up here in Biles? I must say, I have no choice to be honest. 
because if I go to tourism, I still have course to, courses to take up because I'm not an ABM strand student in senior high school. I applied three times in a row in BSL English, but they declined my application. And for BSL TLE, the school does not feature that program. And now for physical education, I am a shifty from this program. I left this program even though that it it really fits my interests, which is being active because of an instructor and the activities that are so hard for me and that time was in pandemic. It is hard to understand on what and how to do the activities without the assistance of the instructors. When I decided to shift, I have nowhere else to choose and I was so depressed and hopeless for about two weeks on what I am going to do in life that I left physical education program. But I'm still optimistic that I will, I will not stop college. And finally, I found Baels in Students Portal. I immediately applied to this program and I gained hope that I can continue what I started even though and I know I am going to be an irregular student. Now that I am here in this program, it really hard to it it's very hard to formulate your own words of opinions and perspectives. I know my capabilities as, as a student. I know that I can keep up with my classmates' attitudes inside the classroom, but I know for myself that I will persevere and work hard to finish this program. Where can I see myself 10 years from now? I can see myself 10 years from now that I am I am in the other country working in an office or in a school because that is what this program is for. And I am looking forward to be a librarian even though I am not that fond of reading books. I just lo I just love the library because of its peace and the beauty of the books and the shelves th that are organized. Because I am an organized person when it comes to things that are perfectly aligned to and arranged cleanly to my eyes that I think sometimes I have a symmetry OCD. So that is all my life story and my reasons behind this why am I why am I in this course. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this video helped you to know me better. Peace out. That was the last time, the last time.